In this Unity Quick Tip, we're going to be looking at using Require Component. Require Component allows us to add a component to a specific game object in which a script or another component would actually rely on. So if we take a look at the directional light, I can add a constant force component. And since the constant force component depends on a rigid body to work, it automatically added a rigid body for us as well. So if I try to remove the rigid body, we're going to get a pop-up that says we can't because the constant force depends on it. I'll have to remove the constant force first, and then I can remove the rigid body. So how do we do this within our own script? Let's take a look at how this is done. Right above the class name itself, we'll start off with an open bracket, require component, open parentheses, and then we type type of all lowercase and all one word. Another open parentheses, and then the component that we want to add. So we'll just start off with a rigid body. And you want to write this out exactly the same way you would with a variable. I'm going to close that off with a couple of parentheses and a closing bracket. So now we have a required component type of rigid body. Now I can then add this in one more time. So I can just copy this and place it below that. And I can add in another component as well. So maybe I want an audio source as well. I can also add in a box collider. Now we have three components that this script requires. So we have a rigid body, an audio source, and a box collider. Now it doesn't matter if we use this within our class or not. If we have required component at the very top, it's automatically going to be assigning those components. And if we add this to our directional light, we now have all these extra components. So we have a box collider, a audio source, and a rigid body.